Let's say infinite universes really do exist. You're not out of the woods yet. Because an infinite multiverse doesn't just give you every kind of universe once. It gives you infinite copies of each kind. This means infinite universes with people like us, but also infinite universes with dragons or unicorns or floating brains. So how do you know which ones are more common? You can't just count infinities. That's the nightmare. Picture an endless row of marbles, some gold, some silver, stretching on forever. Which type of marble are you more likely to pick? You have no idea. There's no way to compare when both go on forever. To get around this, scientists invent something called a measure. A measure is like a made up rule to help organize the infinities so you can count what's typical. It's like saying, after every gold marble, there should be 10 silver ones. Now you can at least pretend silver is more common, even though both are still infinite. Multiverse scientists hope they can find just the right measure that makes our universe more likely than all the weird alternatives. But that turns out to be a big problem.